we continue our conversation on navigating COVID with Dr. Carson. Why do some people get severely ill and even die, while others are asymptomatic or see just minor effects? We know that there are certain groups of people, based on their comorbidity, their immune status, and underlying medical problems that puts at a greater risk of having more severe disease. But there are people that don't have any of those disorders, people who are young, who, who then go on and get really sick and even some die. So I think there's incomplete information about some people get sick and some people don't. We clearly need a lot more research to answer that question. I got COVID once and it was really no big deal. So why would I get the shot now? It's a really important question. The CDC is recommending that people get the vaccine even after they had COVID. They're recommending that you wait 90 days and then you get the vaccine. The rationale for this is that this illness is very bad, that it's, it's possible but unlikely that you could get the infection again. And lastly, we don't know how long the immunity lasts when people have been infected. And the idea here is that by giving the vaccine, you will protect that individual even greater than if you didn't give the vaccine. I'm wondering which vaccine I should get. The vaccines are equal and they're both terrific with 95% efficacy. You should get the first vaccine that you can get on the schedule to receive. Can I loosen up on precautions after getting the shot? Don't do that. The reason is this vaccine, while highly effective, is not 100%. It's still possible that you could get the infection and therefore you need to protect those around you by doing all the standard public health measures, wearing a mask, social distancing, and washing your hands frequently.